my channel baking and buttercream today we're making an adventure themed checkerboard cake so let's take a break and bake this cake is to celebrate Avengers Endgame coming out in a couple days I'm so excited to watch it and so I even kind of themed the suits that they wear in the Avengers Endgame trailer to this cake. The main colors of their suits that they wear in the trailer are white, gray, and red. So I added those colors into the cake by making it checkerboard and I'm also decorating it to have those colors as well. I've already made a chocolate cake which you can learn how to make in the card up above and I also made two vanilla cakes as well. I dyed one red, you can also check that video out in the cards up above as well. So I have three cakes in total, a chocolate cake, a vanilla cake, and a red vanilla cake. And now let's assemble this Avengers cake. For decoration you need frosting, Rice Krispies, fondant, and multiple food colorings. So the first thing that we're going to do to make this Avengers cake is we're going to actually make Thor's hammer and Captain America's shield out of Rice Krispies. So right here I'm just forming Captain America's shield by I've rolled out some Rice Krispies and I cut a circle out of it with the circle cookie cutter. And now I'm just trying to add some Rice Krispies on top of the circle, on top of the circle to almost make it a dome shape to make it a little more 3D for Captain America's shield. Once I'm all done with that, I just set that aside and I'm going to work on Thor's hammer. The first thing to do to work on Thor's hammer is I just made a little brick of Rice Krispies. And once I got that as smooth as I could, I set that aside and was going to start working on Thor's handle. I took some Rice Krispies and I started rolling them out into a cylinder shape and I shoved a skewer in the, into the cylinder just to help it hold its shape while I was rolling it out and trying to get it a little bit thinner to make it look like a good handle for Thor's hammer. Once I got that done, I put those things in the freezer and let them set to get really hard. And then I went ahead and started working on the cake. So I'm making this a checkerboard cake and to do that, you have to cut pieces out of your cake. Pretty much what you need is a large circle cookie cutter to cut the middle part of the cake out. But I didn't have that, so I tried to make a circle out of a cake board that I have and then I cut around that. After I had that, there's two pieces of cake. You have the outer ring and then you have the middle part of the cake. So then after I have that middle part of the cake, I took a small cookie cutter that I have and I put that into the cake and cut around that as well. That way I could have this cake be three pieces. I have an outer ring, a middle ring, and then a middle piece. And I did that with all the cakes. I did that with the chocolate cake, the red vanilla cake, and just the plain vanilla cake. Now we're going ahead and start assembling this cake, no pun intended. You're going to take one of your middle rings and put frosting inside of it. And you're going to take a smaller middle piece and put it inside of that. And the buttercream will help it be glue. And then what you're going to do, you're basically going to do the same thing with an outer ring, put frosting on the inside of it, then take your middle ring and then put it inside of that. This is actually a lot easier to see than to explain. You kind of need photos. So just look at the video of how I'm doing this and how the cakes are. So once you get all that done, you're going to go ahead and stack these cakes. It's super simple just to stack them on top of each other. So I took my red cake, put it on the bottom, frosted it. Then I took my chocolate cake, put it on top of that, frosted it. And then I took my vanilla cake, put that on top, and frosted the whole thing. And then I covered it in some white fondant. So then what I did, so I took some leftover white fondant, dyed it gray, and I basically made a square, but with a rectangle on top of it. And then I put that onto the cake. So it kind of looks almost like how a button-up shirt kind of looks. It's kind of hard to explain, you can see in the photo. And then I went ahead and took some leftover buttercream, dyed it red, and just piped a little border on the outside of the cake. And then after that, I took my Rice Krispie treats out of the freezer, frosted them, covered them in fondant, and decorated them the way I wanted them to be. I painted the handle for Thor's hammer and the Captain America shield. So I did that, they looked really cool. So I took an Avengers template, I cut it out, and then I took some fondant and traced it to make the Avengers logo out of fondant, and I stuck that onto the cake. And it looks super cool, but I knew the cake wasn't finished yet. So I made Hawkeye's arrow, I painted a chopstick with black edible paint, and then I added a little tail with some black fondant on top, and I stuck that into the cake. And then after that, I added Thor's hammer and Captain America's shield, and then I also added 
an arc reactor. Iron Man let me borrow one of his arc reactors, so I don't quite know how it was made, but I do know that he said it was food safe, so I could put it on the cake. So I put it onto the cake, and it looked so good. So I added the rest of my toppers on there, and then the cake was complete, and it looks so good. It's ready to eat, and I can't wait to see the checkerboard design. All right, guys, so this Avengers cake is all done, and I'm so glad the way it turned out, how it has the colors from the suits that they're wearing in the trailer of Avengers Endgame, and then on top of that, it's a checkerboard cake. It just looks so good. I really don't want to eat it, but the thing is, I know it tastes even better than it looks. And now it's time for the taste test. It tastes amazing, and it looks amazing as well. Or should I say, marvelous. Well, I'm so excited for how this cake turned out. It looks so good, and I'm so excited for Avengers Endgame as well, so I can't wait to w watch that. But I think this cake has seen its endgame because I'm gonna eat it all. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of a little confusing with all the steps, but I hope the video helped explain how to do this. I think the cake turned out really well. If you have any questions for me about how to make this cake, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you don't have any questions, you can still comment down below on another sweet treat that you want me to make in the future. So comment those down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload and share this video with Avengers loving Marvel fans. And thanks so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Click one of these two videos right here. This top one YouTube recommends. I recommend this bottom one. This video was a lot of fun to make. It was really cool. And click this baking and buttercream icon to subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoyed learning how to make this Avengers Endgame cake. It looks really cool, tastes really great. So I recommend following the recipe and this instructions to make this cake. All right guys, see ya.